So I revisited Mario Kart 8 after four years, and quite frankly, I wish I never left. The game still holds up in my opinion, and is currently my second favourite video game of all time. Although, to be fair, it's still way behind Minecraft. So I decided to rank all 48 levels in the deluxe version, because... I, I don't know, I, th I thought this would get these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show the full list of them ranked, however, I'm not going to talk about the lowest 28 levels. However, I will go in depth about the top 20 levels, and there will also be cameos from two other YTRL YouTubers, two Tessie Tall and Mr. Bad Church Support, giving opinions on their personal favourite maps. One of which actually shares their favourite map with me. So, on to the montage, I guess. Before you get mad, Bowser's Castle is a great level, but it's just not for me. Also, the fact that the lowest track for me is B tier really shows how great this game is. So anyway, 20th place is Excite by Karina. This map is way overhated, and although it's a straight loop, it still manages to be a great level, not boring in the slightest. For me, this feels like a competitive level, especially compared to most. 19th is Meat City. I personally have never played F-Zero, but apparently this is themed after it. This level is basically a big blue but slightly nerfed, and I for one love it. I'm sorry Miners, but Shy Guy Falls is only 18 for me. It's still 8 here, and I really, really like parts of it, such as waterfall sections. It's just a great fun level and a fan favourite, deservedly. So my pick for 17th place may be quite controversial, as most people place this in the top 5, but I still love it regardless. Sunshine Airport is a giga chat of a track, easily one of the most creative, and also, what do you know, this is Tutac's favourite track. I forced him to say a few words about it, because why not? <laughs> why would this not be your favourite map? You literally drive through an airport terminal, drive over conveyor belts holding the luggage, and drive through a literal hollowed out plane, and then proceed to fly underneath the belly of an aircraft. It is quite literally a very short map, and a very fun map, and everyone including Lai's opinion. Animal Crossing is unironically amazing. It's a really, really charming level, and how the season changes every time you play is just a fantastic touch to an already great level. The second highest A tier track tends to be placed much lower, but I really find it to be great. Dalton Shoals is just a, such a creative level. The music is great, the underwater pipes are great, the giant monster may be weirdly animated, but I don't even care. Amazing level. And yep, the highest A tier level is Piranha Plant Pipeway. Yeah, this is deservedly a fan favourite, and like Sunshine Airport and Dolphin Shoals, it's just super creative. It's a really solid A tier level, and almost cracked the A plus tier, but the top 13 are just so great. So we're starting off the A plus tier with TikTok Clock, a fan favourite, and this tends to be ranked, like Sunshine Airport, in the top 5 tracks in the game. This track operates just like a clock, and it's super fun to play. It reminds me a lot of Warrior Stadium, but even better, which is a massive one. You know, Zany Time is a great channel, but another Zany level is Warriors Golden. This reminds me a lot of Nintendo 64 Rainbow Road, actually, with its steep drops and anti-gravity sections. The fact that you can bounce off the minecarts is just amazing, and the shortcuts are some of the best in any level. Yoshi Valley is truly a fantastic level. The split roads in this put any other levels to shame. Everything about this level is great, and it's deeply underrated. Kicking off the top 10, we have the new Rainbow Road. This has the joint second best music of any track in this list, tied with Big Blue. The space station theme works really well too, and overall this makes for an amazing A plus tier level. Ribbon Road has the best background of any level in this whole list, and that is undisputed. This level is just so fun, the shortcuts are great, the gliding parts are great, everything about this level is just, dare I say it, okay I'm sorry, hoggers. Melody Motorway is one of these levels I genuinely kind of forgot existed, and that's very evil of me, I'm deeply sorry. This level is just so amazing, I can't really fault anything about it. It's got amazing music, especially since the percussion instruments add to it when you drive across them. The piranha plants literally bop their heads to the music. It's incredible. Best part of the level right there. Yep, Toad Harbor is well deserving of being in the top 7. It's incredibly underrated in my opinion, it never really gets into anybody's top 10 list, but that ends with me, for I completely back it. San Francisco seriously is nothing on this. The shortcuts and sidetracks are really great, the sidewall parts are really great. And the market bit is literally godsend. Everything about this track is amazing, and I beg you to play it. Wrapping off the A-plus tier, we have Electrodome. Yeah, this level's truly great, and unlike Toad Harbor, this level's definitely not underrated. 
it is well deserving of all the praise it gets. The glide bit is great, the split tracks are better than most split tracks in the game, and the debris left behind on the track is just such a fun detail. And now into the top 5 and S tier. Wild Woods is the opener to this part, and this, in my opinion, the second most underrated track in the game. Yeah, that's, that's how I feel about this. This is just Shy Guy Falls, but twice as good. The theme works so well with the track, and there's a shortcut near the end, which is, yeah, it's the bane in my life when I try it without a mushroom. Yep, Nintendo 64 Rainbow Road is definitely deserving of the best Rainbow Red track in Mario Kart 8. Seriously, this track is sick. It's rather short, but it takes after Warrior's Goldmine and just amplifies it by 10 times. Seriously, very nostalgic track. You must play it straight away. Big Blue is often considered the best track in the game, and for me, I believe it's been the second best, although it's still my third favourite. Yeah, this level is just so epic scale in everything it does, and it can be rivaled in that regard. The music is incredible, and the water sections of this level put Wild Woods to shame. Now, which level do you think is not as good as Big Blue, but I prefer? Yeah, that's right, Moo Moo Meadows is easily the most underrated and overrated track in the game. While I don't think it's as good as Big Blue, I prefer it, due to the fact that it's super charming, and also, it has the best music of any Mario Kart level. Yes, I said that. I will, I will stand by that. Moo Moo Meadows is just seriously underrated, and I hope other people can just see how good it is. In a factual tier list, for my opinion, is drawn out the window, then I would still put this level in the top 10. Hashtag justice for Moo Moo Meadows. Matt Wario is a fan favourite, and you know what? It's also a favourite of the YT Realm YouTuber, Mr. Batro64. Yep, honestly, this level is more of an adventure than a track. It goes between so many different types of track in a single mountain. Honestly, my favourite part is the second lap, although lap is misleading as it's a one loop course. Please check this one out, it is my favourite, and thank you so much for watching. Please sub for more cringe videos. Goodbye.